Welcome to Chick Fil A. I'll be with you in just a moment. This looks exactly like a chicken sandwich. Lord, I know. Listen, Lord, I know that you say in your word that you do not test your sons and daughters beyond what they can handle, but. Sure enough, you got me pretty close up to the edge today, Jesus. Yo, I am in Charleston, North Carolina or South Carolina? I don't know. I am in Charleston, one of the Carolinas, and I have just gotten word that Chick-fil-A now is serving a cauliflower sandwich. Lord, give me patience, because one of your own has gone astray. It's pretty much just cauliflower, and then they put their batter on and, and fry it. There's no chicken in it. No chicken in it at all. <laughs> uh, well, I'm here to give it a shot. Has a lot of people been ordering it? Yeah, we've actually probably like 15 out of the last 20 cars that came through. Really? <laughs> Dang. A lot of people. Well, people at least people at least have heard about it. Uh, I mean, look through it. Right. Entry is still not considered vegetarian. Oh, RIP to the vegetarians. Tastiest call of the day. We about to see about that. I also got some ranch dressing, just in case. Not again. Not that I'm not that I'm doubting. Okay, I'm not doubting. I'm sure. <laughs> Yo, that is wild, dude. Look at that. That looks like a chicken. That's the biggest bait and switch. First of all, I haven't even tasted it yet. It smells different, but I haven't even. T that's a bait and switch. <laughs> Why am I nervous to taste this? It's not going down. You know what Michael Jordan said? He said, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Or maybe Michael Scott said it. I don't know. As fast food consumers in the United States, we have been very loose with our standards. McDonald's will just put some barbecue sauce on a used lawnmower tire, call it a McRib. And we're like, this thing's great. Arby's will just sweep the floor of what's left at the slaughterhouse. And they're like, here's our new roast beef sandwich. And we're like, this is not too bad. I mean, Burger King once was like, we got a deep fried Cheeto. And we're like, ah, this is pretty good. Like we're, our standards are low. And dude, look at the presentation. This looks like a chick, this is wolf in sheep's clothing. This is sheep in wolf's clothing, really, if you think about it. I mean, this, <laughs> I mean, that's a transgender chicken sandwich right there. A cauliflower on your own, I mean, you don't really do it for people. How about if we deep fry you, we cover you in butter, we put a pickle in between you, and we put a bun, and just like, just give you one big giant carbohydrate hug. And still people are gonna be like, nah, dude, I'm good. And listen, uh, listen, this is the first review you're seeing of this sandwich, okay? If I see any of those suburban influencer soccer moms running around here being like, I love the cauliflower chicken sandwich, they don't, okay? They don't like it. And not only are they lying to you about this, they're also lying to you about their Arabon, their skin cream, or their gut health. They're lying about if if they, if. Dude, if they give you a positive review on this, they lie about everything. Listen, me going against Chick-fil-A is like a Democrat being like, you know what, global warming is not really that real. Or like a Republican being like, you know what, maybe we need to get rid of some of these assault rifles. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be straight with you. I wouldn't be surprised if you order one of these cauliflower sandwiches at Chick-fil-A that one of those sweet homeschooled employees would bring it out to your table and be like, here you go, my punishment. And you're like, wait, hold on, wait, what? 